guys, it's Weezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you today with a get ready with me. So, if you want to see how I created this beautiful pride look before starting my 10-hour shift today, then sis, stay right there. Okay, I done brought y'all in close. Let's do this. I like starting my routine off with doing my eyes first and I like using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills clear bra gel to uh, kind of pull my eyebrow hairs up um, kind of like hairspray and then I take their uh, bra pomade in the color uh, dark brown and I go in and I kind of outline things first and then I fill in as I go. So then I continue with the um, a little bit darker pomade, also by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This one's in the color Jet, which is a black. And I kind of just use it to deepen things up a little bit and give a little more depth to my brows. And child, you do know I'm saying brows, not my bras. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we skipped a few little steps. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But I'm gonna take my Morphe 25L Live in Color Artistry Palette, which is one of my new faves. Um, and I'm gonna start off by uh, creating a transition here. Um, and I did use, guys, my P. Louise Base in the color Rumor 05 to, um, kind of lighten my um, eyelids up and in order to help the uh, eyeshadows to stick and to show up their true colors. So yeah, let me just go ahead and, and apologize in advance. <laughs> I was getting ready for work while doing this and um, I started you know, kind of running out of time a little bit, child, because, you know, that blend game is serious business. So um, there were times when I thought I was recording and I really wasn't. So if you see us kind of, you know, jump from one step to the next, it's because your girl thought she was recording and she wasn't. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But you're still going to be able to get the gist of exactly what I use to create this beautiful look. So just hang with me, sis. Hang with me. Okay, so this is my Kat Von D Vegan Love Palette. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm really kinda on the fence with this palette. This is probably about my third time using it. And I just keep trying to give it opportunities to be great, but it just keeps falling short. So I'm just giving it another chance because she's almost on the path of be get being taken back to Sephora I don't know the color payout is just not as, at all what I anticipated and um, she has a lot of fallout and you'll see what I mean as we keep going here so I don't know y'all let me know what y'all think about it if I should keep it or take her back So 
So here I'm just taking a clean br blending brush and just really going to town on, on blending that red in because it's a lot deeper and darker than I want it to be up in the transition portion. Um, so I'm just really working with it and really trying to get a good blend on it. And I'm also, as you saw, mixing some of the pink in to kind of soften and lighten it up. But still keeping the crease area darkened. So this is the, one of the reasons that I'm kind of frustrated also with this palette is that the colors are kind of chalky. And so it really, you know, I have to put in a lot of work trying to get the colors to adhere to my lids, to the um, concealer. Oh, and I guess I skipped another step there, guys. Again, that's more of my um, P. Louise base that I use to cut the crease. And um, yeah, that Kat Von D palette, I'm, I'm just having to put in a lot of work to get the color payout. And so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and take um, that color from the Morphe 25L palette to help out this yellow. Because like I said, it's looking chalky and I need to give it a more buttery look. So this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. It's the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I've had this palette probably since Moses roamed the earth and I absolutely love how electrifying the colors are in it. And you're going to see, you know, as I um, apply these colors, just how beautiful they are and just the pigmentation of them are absolutely wonderful and I just I love this palette it does have some fallout to it but nothing that I can't clean up um, with as you saw just a little bit earlier I uh, was using my makeup wipes uh, the equate makeup wipes that I purchased from Walmart and I think I get about like 120 wipes for maybe five dollars and 95 cents um, and this is exactly why I do my eyes first before I do my foundation or the rest of my face so that I can clean up any fallout that I have. And I mean, look at that, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the pigment, the pigment, um, pigmentation of those colors are just gorgeous. I love that Urban Decay palette. I'm not even sure if you can still get that palette because it's so old. Um, but girl, if you can find it, child, get that in your life. It's beautiful. So this has become one of my uh, favorite liquid eyeliners. It's the Morphe um, liquid liner in the color Blackout. And I don't know what what it is exactly. I'm not that great at doing a wing, but I am so much better at doing one with this particular liquid liner. And it's something about the applicator. It's kind of, um, gosh, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, it's kind of slick or sleek. And it just kind of allows you to roll that liquid liner just right on your lid so easily. I decided I wanted to try the two primer technique so I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty Beauty primer uh, because I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty foundation but then I also purchased just today the Tasha Silk Canvas Protected Protecting Primer and I've been wanting to try this primer for quite some time because so many of the MUAs that I watch on YouTube um, rant and rave about this primer. So I wanted to get it and try it out and kind of see what I thought about it. And I must tell you guys, I'm editing this after I wore this makeup look for over 14 hours. And girl, when I tell you after 14 hours, my makeup looked 
just like it did when I first did it, like at the very beginning of the day. So I was absolutely floored. So I decided to go ahead and try the same technique again so that I can make sure that it wasn't a fluke. <laughs> so I will update you guys just to let you know um, as I continue to do this process what my final thoughts are about it. But I must say right out the gate, I was shook. I mean, that silk base on that Tasha primer just made my um, foundation just look flawless just literally like silk <laughs> so here is kind of a you know my end look and as you can see I mean just look how pretty that looks I absolutely love this pride look you all I did use my Fenty Beauty foundation as I said uh, I do have the color 420 in case you guys were wondering and this is a Marc Jacob pencil that I'm just taking and I'm uh, coloring my uh, waterline blue there. And in case y'all happen to pull out your sunglasses from that nose shining on you right like a diamond, that Juvia's Place highlighter that is the Heroin Glow lighter mixed with the Fenty Beauty Shimmer Stick in the color Rum. Yes, girl. She's going to be cute at work. So, in honor of Pride Month, this is what I was able to come up with. And I must say, I absolutely love it. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And sis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, girl, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Wheezy Wig Review family. I would love to have you. All right, guys. You have a very blessed week. And remember what I always say, to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. This is Wheezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.